Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? ready? Welcome to the Upside Down Smiley Show where we talk about real life but we don't take life too seriously. My name is Shireen and we have Nicholas May, artist and entrepreneur. And today we're going to talk about being selfish. We're both entrepreneurs and a lot of times it's challenging to be selfish. It's challenging to like put yourself first. This is something that you actually brought to me that you want to talk about. So yeah, definitely. why is this important to you? I think it's a good topic because really I think it's to where I'm at now I think it's really kind of been the key to my just overall success for just to the yeah. level that I'm at now and what I've you know been able to, to reach and get to so right. for me it's really important um, to be selfish before you can be selfless and you know help other people right because I feel like when you put other people above yourself honestly like I think a lot of times people don't act on ideas or like what they want to do because they're right. thinking about other people they're thinking about other people's opinions mm -hmm. and like the reality is is you're never gonna get anything done nope. thinking about other people and worrying about other people Absolutely um, not. and I think for me like I have I still kind of struggle with this like being selfless and like putting family over myself like trying to go to all the events, trying to like support as many people. And right, going to all the weddings, like flying out to Hawaii because your girl is, you know, wants you there, you know? Right. Like you have to be there, but that thousand dollars, that two to $2,500 go far in your business. Right, and it's, it's hard to prioritize, so like, how do you like prioritize mm -hmm. like thing how to be selfish like when to be selfish mm -hmm. for me it's, it's whatever makes you happy yeah literally as simple as that like prioritize what makes you happy to get like what makes me happy is executing my business goals yeah. so when when i do that that makes me happy that's what i focus on yeah you know something if you're doing something that's not making you happy or just something around you that's not making you happy you need to cut that out right. and you need to and to, to move on forward from it because the happier you are the more successful you're going to be in general whether you want to be an entrepreneur or whether you just want to you know not get fired from your job from right. being in a bad mood or like yeah. you know just have having more clarity yeah and I think I was thinking about like okay as an entrepreneur you work alone quite a bit mm -hmm. right and, but you have to really be like the advocate for yourself like you mm -hmm. really have to like be your biggest cheerleader you have to be the person that's really looking out for yourself the test and learn type of situation like you do something and when you get that feeling that feels like I shouldn't have done this. Like, mm -hmm. okay, so then don't do it again, right? right? Like, and I think, you know, it's challenging because a lot of times you feel like there's obligations. You feel like, oh, I gotta do this because I've known this person forever. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. It's just limited time. And like, I don't know, I feel like mm -hmm. we're so young that like now is the time to seize like what you wanna do and you know, you gotta look out for yourself and you gotta do what's right for yourself. For me though, like even if I was 50, like I'm like I'm still young. Right. Like you it's know, never too late. It's, no, 50 is super young. Or yeah. even if I was 60, I would still be I'd still have the same mentality. I feel like when I was younger, I was like, oh I'm too young to do this. And now I'm like, you know, I see people that are younger than me doing things and I'm like, oh maybe I'm too old. No, like right now is the time. Like when you're just inside your mind telling your telling yourself that like there's something holding you back but there really isn't anything holding you back except right. yourself for me how i figure out how to be selfish and what to be selfish about is like really like intuition mm -hmm. right and like what feels right and what like what what, makes what you happy. yeah what makes you happy it really i feel like all my videos are kind of like in this direction of just like being more aware because mm -hmm. I think a lot of us are just like zombies just like you know going through life and I know sometimes it's hard to one figure out what your passion is to pursue it but then also you know we got bills we got like a life mm -hmm. to like you know pay for just being more aware is is just like my overall type of like I think that's kind of why I started this mm -hmm. is to like share ideas and share stories and just conversate about things because I think as we just like move on with life it's easy to just like be like okay now I'm 80 years old and I didn't do anything I wanted to do I'm just not having regret right like you just you, you have to be happy like you can't make it I, I truly believe this like you cannot make anybody else happy if you are not like truly happy like like it doesn't mm -hmm. even matter it's business family relationship yeah girlfriend boyfriend whatever True. like you have to be super happy in order to make somebody else happy and yeah of course like you go through you know these flows of like things come up in your life and right. you know somebody important to you passes away and it makes yeah. you sad but overall when you take that 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 
layer off of that variable. Right. You just have to be like you have to be happy with yourself and what you're doing. Right. In your overall yeah. life, because like where there's always gonna be like bumps in the road, and sure. you're gonna sometimes have to like maybe sacrifice your happiness or mm -hmm. you know put other people ahead of yourself, mm -hmm. and that's normal. But then it's also like checking yourself to be like, okay, now that time has passed, and now it's like time for me to take care of myself because mm -hmm. nobody else is gonna take care of you. Basically, we're responsible mm -hmm. for like ourselves and our happiness. You can, you're not, you, you can't control everything that happens to you, but you are in control of like what you can do and your actions and your reactions. I believe you're in, you're in control of everything. Yeah, Even like, true. like when somebody when somebody comes in and they try to like, they try to throw your, your path off or yeah. your life off, like you're still in control. You decided to let that person back in your life. That's your fault. Yeah. So you can control that. Like, right. you know, you can, choose now to learn from it and not make the same mistake and if you make the same mistake again okay cool i played with fire two times yeah now the third time is definitely not happening because it's affecting my life and more importantly right i mean well that is more importantly but it's also when it's affecting your business too yeah um you know like especially with somebody that i get off on you know my business and like right you know, and like so. the success you see exactly like yeah. that that fuels me so if some somebody is affecting that like you're gone like you're getting cut out immediately it's not even a right. question but that that didn't that didn't happen overnight that did, yeah right you know? that doesn't happen right away right mm -hmm. and it's it's about learning and like mm -hmm. you know reflecting and not just like go 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 and mm -hmm. and not like you know, taking those moments are mm -hmm. super important. How do you feel like your life has improved, your business has improved mm -hmm. by being selfish? Definitely. So I think just by just by being selfish, like I've really gotten a lot of goals done very, very early. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was, you know, I did my first concert when I was 18 years old. Yeah. You know, I did my first national concert when I was 19. I, that's when I booked Asher Roth. And yeah. that was a big step for me, but it took me working the last two summers to be able to save up to be able to do that. Right. Where I wasn't, I, I wasn't, you know, in a relationship. I wasn't hanging out with, um, you know, friends every day. I wasn't going to these, you know, college parties. Like I was working, I was grinding, I was hustling. Yeah. And by doing that, I was able to accomplish that goal very early right. so I started doing that very very early which yeah. has now led me to the point of what I'm doing now still very early right a lot of people are like kind of just getting out of school maybe you know from a couple years in their career mm -hmm. and they're trying to figure it out or just have very entry-level experience with what they're doing right um, so for me that just helped me get started really early right and it like puts you in a position to have mm -hmm. like clarity and mm -hmm. to grow your business um, and do it early. Yeah. And do it early. So that's right. the advantage that I had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like for me, when I started being more selfish and like, you know, only working with specific clients and whatnot, that I was just able to like, you know, move in the direction that I wanted to go in. Mm -hmm. Right? Instead of like just thinking that the, the path for my career was just going to like happen like it's, it was just gonna flow mm -hmm. no like we all have a like a specific path that we want to go into and you don't need to accept everything into your life mm -hmm. that is not the right fit i think this whole like self-care thing is like super mm -hmm. like popular right now and it's not easy to just it's not all like take baths and like getting massages and stuff like that it's not mm -hmm. like taking care of yourself is not easy mm -hmm. and like putting yourself first is not easy the easier way to do it is to just say yes to everything right but it's going to tear you down and it's not going to make you whole mm -hmm. and you're going to get burned out I've, I've hit burnout so many times mm -hmm. and i've had to like refocus and i've had to realign the direction of my career and that's okay that's my journey that's my story mm -hmm. and i think what's important is just you know, having those moments to check yourself and, you know, just like moving forward. Absolutely. And the second part to that, once you're, once you are selfish, once, yeah. you, once you have been selfish and you get to that point where, yeah. where, where you need to be, where you want to be, then you can turn around and be really selfless. Right. And then you can and, just be generous. You can build your friends up. Then you can build right. your family up. Right. Then you can build, you can yeah. invest in what they want to do. And then like, you can give. Right. Can give. Yeah. It's just like, you know, just fulfilling your life purpose and like mm -hmm. working and like to be able to work and to be like doing something that like makes you happy mm -hmm. I think is a blessing and I, I feel like we're super blessed that we're able to do that mm -hmm. and I mean like a lot of my videos like I, I hope that for other people mm -hmm. I hope that like these type of conversations are prompting you to like you know not feel bad mm -hmm. but like reassess like what are you doing with your life and like what is it that you need mm -hmm. to you know feel like more full yeah dope thank you so much for watching thank yeah. you so much no, for being here dope. um yeah we do videos every single week we're talking about real life we're talking you know just like 
don't know. I just want to just make this more normal. Just like it conversations. Normal. Just that's speaking. why you're leaving. That's why you're leaving the train in the background. <laughs> It's normal. It's super normal. Right, yeah. And like, we need to just be talking about life, not mm -hmm. just like about like the fun shit, like t going on vacation mm -hmm. and like going to this party. No, let's mm -hmm. talk about real life. Let's, let's, no more small talk. Let's get deep and let's talk about real life. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Bye, guys.